Thank Happy you Easter. Mm. <laughs> exactly. Whenever mm -hmm. he gets the growl, you're mm -hmm. in such great it's shape. That means he's like way approved it. Okay, we're not so much approving the snow right now, but you know, it actually does benefit the environment. So this winter lasting a little bit longer has had some great effects for us. Take a look. Well, it's the end of March. We all want spring to be here, obviously with the snow on the ground here, but it does serve a great purpose to the environment when this snow melts. And joining us this morning to talk about the environmental things for you know, vernal pools is Colleen Sharp, who's a natural resource technician with the Geauga Soil and Water Conservation District. Colleen, thank you so much for joining us out in this lovely, lovely wetland. I yes, appreciate it. no problem. Okay, we're talking about vernal pools. First off, what exactly is a vernal pool. A vernal pool is a temporary wetland and the word vernal means spring so that's why we call it a vernal pool and it is a wetland so vernal pool it gets most of its input of water from winter snow melt and spring rains and that's when it reaches its maximum depth of water. Now they're temporary because they don't hold water all year round. In the summertime things start to dry up and it looks kind of like a little dry depression in the ground. So that's why it's called a vernal pool. And as far as it being good for the environment, talk about the benefits and why everyone out there should really know more and learn up on, on vernal pools. Well, being a type of wetland, wetlands do need three criteria to become a wetland, and that has to do with their soils, their vegetation, and the water. The soil has to be wet enough for a longer, long enough period of time so it loses its oxygen and then it becomes a wetland soil. For vegetation, it's got to be vegetation that likes water. And the water has to be there long enough for the soil and the vegetation to reach those criteria. So they are wetlands and as a wetland, they create, they're like nature's kidneys. So they'll capture any kind of storm runoff that goes over the land and collects any kind of pollutants. It'll hold that water, let it go through the soil where it can filter out the pollutants pollutants or toxins, and then it recharges the groundwater underneath. And it also captures any excess storm water to help reduce the flooding downstream. Are vernal pools protected? Yes, they are. They are protected by the state for the isolated wetlands law. If there's going to be any kind of impact to be done with a vernal pool, you have to get permission from the Ohio Environmental Protection Agency to do anything with that. All right, well, you were kind enough, and, and we'll explain why. You brought some friends with you, I and uh, you brought a frog yep. and a salamander. Yes. Uh. I'd like to introduce you. The frog is very jumpy, so I want to be careful with ah. him. <laughs> what color is he? He's kind of pink right now. Oh. Oh. This is called a wood frog. If you can get the side of his face, he's got a dark kind of mask, and that's one of the easy ways to recognize a wood frog.